Hello guys, this is Mid Northeast here. This is your boy Neil Gonzalez Gonzalez, Weather X45, uh, including on news and updates. Weather X45 and Mili Address Neil Gonzalez, and I got important announce. <coughs> and as you can see, I have a back cough. I got sick. So yeah, from my job. Um, anyways, um, we have issued a blizzard warning. Um, for the Northeast Coast, which is New York City, um, Boston, Massachusetts, and the other Northeastern Coast of Line from Boston, all the, like, from those other sides of Northeast of Upper State New York is gonna have the worst because they're gonna have, like, over 50 to 60 inches of snow for the Upstate. Here in the Northeast, we're gonna expect 24 inches of snow. Not just only that, 10 hours of sn heavy snow. Um, this is today's date. What is today's date? I'm just going to try to see what today's date is. Today is Monday. Um, the time is right now 12.14 a.m. <coughs> and um, by Monday um, evening to... But yeah, Monday evening, we're going to expect from January 26th, 2015, we are expecting really heavy snow for the Northeast. A lot of moisture carrying cold air. Cold from Mammoth um, is going to come down and reach down to its core. Bitter blast is going to hit the Northeast coast along with rain slamming and it's gonna change into snow even more 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 snow because the moisture has over 100 percent which means that the na well yeah which means that we're gonna have a lot of snow and it's 10 hours of snow um by monday and tuesday um by monday and tuesday night it's gonna get a lot more worse by one o'clock a.m we are expecting <coughs> Um, we are expecting a blizzard that will gust up 50 miles per hour, <coughs> <coughs> one to two feet of snow. It's going to be back like the past from 2006, but even more worse. All roads will be slippery. Blizzard warning has been issued. Coastal flood watch has been issued due to the strong winds. The blizzard is going to come. Hurricane force winds are expected. But it's going to feel like 70 miles per hour wind gusts, which is a tropical storm force wind gust reaching close, a little close to a hurricane force wind gust. <coughs> um, and it's going to be really bad. It's going to be even worse than Blizzard Hercules from last year after Happy New Year of 2014. Um, January 5th, 2014, we had Blizzard Hercules that hit the northeast. And it caused over 20 inches of snow, which was over one feet by a quarter, half inch feet. But this time it's going to get even worse, even worse. We're going to have like heavy snow. Um, the first is going to begin with a little bit of flurries this night before dawn tonight, dawn tonight, which means like before like once we go dawn tonight. <coughs> We are going to expect a little bit of flurries, and then after that, at 7 o'clock a.m., we're getting periods of snow. But it's going to be a little bit. A little bit, 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 bit. <coughs> and then once we go more into the afternoon, the snow is going to start coming down and coming down and coming down. And then after, once we go more into the hours, it's going to start pouring down. Once we go to the evening, or like 6 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m., we're going to expect heavy snow, and then after we go to the, like, like the night, like nighttime, tomorrow night, it's gonna get even a lot more worse. It's gonna be really dangerously cold. Its temperatures are gonna feel like, um, like, like Greenland as you're like in the middle of a polar vortex. It's gonna feel like that. It's not gonna feel nothing like 26 degrees or 27 degrees. It's gonna feel like nine degrees, <coughs> which is my personal statement. We are going, this blizzard that we're going to have is going to be a category 4 blizzard, which means this could bring power outages, tree limbs down, large tree limbs. <coughs> the snow will be really bad. It's going to be lots, lots of snow. It's going to be so disastrous. It's going to be one of the history books. It's called Blizzard Mammoth. It's Blizzard Mammoth. 
So, which one is worse? Blizzard Jackson? Bl Blizzard from 2006? Or today? The answer is going to be today, right now. Because we're going to expect 24 inches of snow, but we'll never know how many more is going to be. It could be even additional due to the strong winds and really heavy snow. It's going to pour down in the northeast, which will cause a lot of snow, travel delays, school closings. Tomorrow will be um, early dismissal from public schools, private school. All schools from the northeast of New York City is going to get... Um, early dismissal due to the storm. The storm is going to be really powerful. Um, it's going to be 50 miles per hour, as I said, but it's going to feel over 70 miles per hour wind gusts, which means it's going to be directional downpours. It will be really powerful. Trees will be flying around. <clears throat> the cars will be piled, puffed inside of snow. It's going to be really big. It's going to cause a lot of messy snow all over the place. Puffed off snow and it's gonna cause whiteout conditions. Um, I will be making a video once we go tomorrow, like once we go Monday, Monday night to Tuesday morning, um, Monday night from Tuesday morning, like Monday night to Tuesday morning from midnight overnight. I'm going to record the um, how bad the blizzard is gonna be because I cannot wait until the blizzard comes. Um, and it's gonna be a really, really bad, really bad storm. Um, the other side are issuing a winter storm warning, which is like the other side, the west side of the state. Winter storm um, watch from the upper state. Winter storm warning from the other state from New York. But in the northeast and the northeast upper state, New York is expecting blizzard warning. Um, that's why in Google Plus I made an update. I am alert. Um, go check my account. Please subscribe. Um, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I make a lot of updates what's going on. Um, this blizzard that we're going to have is really, really powerful, so people, be prepared. It's going to be really bad. I object you to stay indoors. I think there will be no work for all adults because this storm is going to be really, really, really powerful. Long Island, <coughs> Long Island is going to have it worse. There's like parts and spots. There's like a big circle. Um, Long Island is going to have 24 plus, which means that's 1 to 8 feet snow extra. Long Island is going to have it worse. Even the Northeast is going to have it worse. The, and once we go to Tuesday morning, even more on, it's going to still continue. 10 hours of snow is going to cause a lot of big, 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 big puffy snow that's going to be over the top hill. It will cause a lot of ice. It will cause slippery roads. It will be really dangerous really dangerous. It could be deadly because it's going to be really strong winds coming there and it's going to slam with that cold air mass, warm air scratching together with the arctic air slamming, strong winds coming, cold front mammoth with blizzard mammoth is going to slam right next to each other and it's going to get really really bad. So people be prepared, wear really heavy duty gloves, jacket, um, a protector um, hood with plastic so you won't get hit a lot by the snow or wear goggles so you won't get hit by the snow put really heavy duty gloves like really a lot as lots of scarf eat warm food warm food really warm food I object eat warm food eat pizza all hot chocolate all that warm hot food do not eat I do not also parents um, do not let your child if you have ice cream in your refrigerator please put that somewhere else because don't let your child eat ice cream during the storm if they're if they're in the northeast because if you eat ice cream <coughs> <coughs> if you eat ice cream, your body contagious the temperature of thirty two degrees going down to twenty nine to twenty six degrees feel and then your child is gonna get sick and then get a fever. There is a possibility for a flu a flu alert um also there's germs flu alert because all this puffy snow and then it's going to be get, get even more worse um uh so yeah um so this is my updates and that's it for now um i will be making a video of blizzard um mammoth um it, it's going to there will be probably there will be a possibility of no school for january 27 the midterms will be canceled 
there will be uh if it if it takes a lot of time for that snow to get rid that means it's gonna take a week for that snow to get off this will be feeling like 2006 but even worse <coughs> and it's a category 4 blizzard which means it could cause a lot of damage cause tree limbs to fall down but just imagine if it was a category 5 it will be extra snow it, 24 plus additional to a 10 by 4 equals 34 inches of snow which will be like 5 feet but nope that's 5 feet to like 10 feet but nope that's a category 4 um, blizzard so people be prepared I object you to stay indoors it's gonna be really bad dangerous cold weather it's gonna be really strong winds just stay home Eat warm, hot food. Do not eat ice cream. Do not let your child eat ice cream and all that stuff. I always say that because sometimes my cousin used to eat ice cream and um, it's a girl, She she which is Maribel, she gets like sick, she gets a flu because she eats too many ice cream and she gets cold and then she starts getting the flu and the fever because the temperature goes down to like a temperature of 26 degrees to like 19 degrees. So do not eat ice cream or stuff like that. Just eat warm food and just heavy. If you're going to sleep, close windows immediately. Do not open your windows. Close them immediately. Um, it will be causing power outages. If your power outages are out, be sure to prepare with your candles. Get your shovels ready. All the salt is ready. Please, people, be prepared. It will be very powerful. And that's my updates for now. This is your boy, Neil Gonzalez. Um, Gonzalez, Weather X45. And I hope you guys like this video. And have a great day of, you, of your day. And bye.